All right, now it's officially time to get this part started. Here we go. Turning on all the equipment. You guys know the drill. You have your water bottle, which is filled with water, not just in your cage without any water in it. Your towel and your fan. And if you have a Garmin or some kind of device that's going to help you through the process of the workout, got that in place too. So I figured today, instead of doing what was today's quote, we're going to do the quote for the last day of the year from Jim Harbaugh, college football head coach. I think he's now also, Earl will correct me, Jim was also pro football coach. So he's been college and pro. Attack each day with an enthusiasm unknown to mankind. Whew, short and sweet. Just getting right to the point on that one. So you're going to need from enthusiasm for tonight's workout. So typically what happens when, and right now you're just going to be in a nice easy gear, just spinning the legs. We'll get in some good warm up. Plus this whole workout is going to feel like a warm up. So when we haven't ridden our bikes for a few days or even a week, because of the holidays. The legs always get a little shut down. So this workout's going to bring them back to life, get some energy back into them, and have them uh, feeling a little fresh. So the, tonight, the other aspect is you're going to have to pay attention because some things are going to go pretty quickly. I'm going to give you short, precise, concise instructions, and I'm sure you're going to see the rhythm to it all as we get going. The nice part is that the longest effort tonight is a block of five minutes. So you're actually going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven five minute efforts some will look similar but with just small small changes within them but lots of leg speed stuff bringing those legs back to life i like these kind of workouts they don't kill you they're just enough to really make the legs feel really fresh. So we were uh, at my mom's house for Christmas and we're just getting almost ready to sit down for dinner. And my uncle, who's from Michigan, is with us. And he was to leave that evening at like six o'clock. And you know how the, the airports were over this holiday, completely crazy. So all of a sudden he's running around like a chicken with his head cut off. And he says to us, I just got notification that my flight is canceled tonight and they won't be able to get me on another flight until Tuesday. So I've been trying to figure out what to do and I can get on a flight that leaves in two hours. We're about 30 minutes from the Philadelphia airport. <laughs> so it turned into chaos instantaneously in the house. We're all running around trying to find the presents that are supposed to be for him trying to shove him into his suitcase while he's trying to find all his stuff. 
my nephews getting the car started. It was pretty crazy. He leaves. Fortunately, he got to the airport on time. And he was able to get on his flight. So <laughs> that was our excitement for the Christmas holiday. <laughs> All right. We are going to get started with our first five minute effort. But this wasn't included in the main set. We're going to start with just your small ring. And I want you to give me two harder gears, just two harder gears. I want you to give me the highest cadence you can hold. Three, two, one. So if you could get into the hundreds right now, that's where I want you to be. We want to get some leg speed here. Nice and light feet. Spin them fast. Try to hold that cadence for the entire time. I'm at 110, if you're following my leg speed. My upper body's nice and still. Two harder gears, holding whatever gear or cadence you can. If you can get to 100, great. If you're around 95, that's probably right. I'm at 98. I'm sure you're going to feel the heart rate starting to come up. The lungs are filling up. Get that fast legs. Nice circular motion. Two easy gears. Back to where you were for that first minute. Back to that nice, super high cadence. Jackets are coming off. Body's warming up. Push the cadence here. Really feel it burn. That's what we want. We want to push some of that lactic acid to the surface. Almost three minutes in. Two harder gears. Keep that cadence high. Let's go. Feel light. Get that torso, use those abs. Try not to hunch your back. Get your hands in a comfortable place on your bars. I'm warming up. Two easier gears again. Back to where we started. Increase that cadence. 
This isn't easy here. This is about leg speed. Little bend in those elbows. Not a bend like this, but a bend here. That's where that core comes into play. Fifteen to go. Get a little break. And then we're going to move into the first effort. Three, two, one. Spin the legs, nice easy gear. Take a drink. All right. Some of you might recognize this next effort. We've done this one before. It's really an interesting way to kind of force the body to warm up even more. And that's because we want them to be, the legs, to be really ready for the main, main set. We're gonna do five seconds standing. Then you're gonna sit. You're gonna do five seconds easy. And then you're gonna do five seconds seated relatively hard. Then back to five seconds easy. So we're just gonna keep doing that for a whole five minutes. Woo, that feels like a long time. But, exactly what we need. So all I'm going to do is say seated, standing, easy, or in the order when we start is standing, easy, seated. So keep that in mind. That's the rhythm. Standing, seated, I'm standing, easy, seated, easy, standing, easy, seated, easy. And when you're standing and you're seated, you're gonna give me as best effort you can for that five seconds. Here's a nice part though. I'm gonna put you in a gear. It's gonna push you a little bit. This gear feels like it's way too much. You're welcome to stay in your small ring. So we're all gonna go to our big ring and to our 15, which is with about three gears showing underneath your chain. So it's gonna go quickly. The first one will be five seconds standing. When I count it down, three, two, one. Here we go. Push that five. Sit easy. Give me five hard. Here we go, go. Easy. Next is going to be standing and up. Easy, seated. Staying seated, push it. Easy. Next is coming standing. Up. You'll find the rhythm as we go. Seated. Staying easy, seated hard, easy, next is standing, we got one minute down, up, find your rhythm, seated, pushing it hard, go, easy, Getting ready to stand. Up. Seated. Hard seated, go. Easy. And up. Seated. 
seated. And hard seated. Easy. Two minutes down. Ready, stand, and up. Seated easy. Seated hard, go. Easy. And up. Seated easy. Now you got the rhythm. Seated hard, go. Easy. Getting ready to stand in your hoods. Up. Seated easy. Hard seated. Nice and easy. Come in three minutes. Up. Sitting down, taking a break for five. Hard seated, go. Easy. Next come is standing. And up. Seated. Seated hard, go. Easy. In your hoods. Up. Seated easy. Hardy seated, go. Nice and easy. Four down. One to go. Up. Nice and easy. And hard seated. Let's go. Recover for five. In your hoods. Up. Seated easy. Seated hard. Here we go. Easy. Standing hard. Up. Seated easy. Seated hard. Last one. Let's go. Easy. Five seconds. Three, two, nice and easy. Shift to your small ring, recover. Woo, the legs felt that one. One minute of recovery. Then we're gonna spin the legs high for four minutes. We're gonna include this one minute easy as part of that five minutes. So we get to the top of this minute. I want you to I want you to put yourself in a gear. It's going to get you at a hundred cadence solidly, where you can hold that without a problem. So if you want to shift down one harder gear, just to give you a little bit of resistance or two or three, whatever works best for you, we're gonna get to 100. Here we go, three, two, one, one, holding that 100. All right, get nice and solid there. If you're going to 110 or to 105, you might wanna give yourself one harder gear and see if you can still hold that 100. So what we want to have happen here is we want the legs just to recover slightly, but we still want to keep a little snap in them because our next effort is where it's really going to matter. 
our next effort's going to be five by ten seconds seated, literally sprints as hard as you can go. You're going to get 50 seconds easy between. Okay. Keep that 100 going. I want you to try your best to hold that cadence. Don't worry about power. Don't worry about heart rate. Don't worry about effort. This is all about just getting that leg speed. Keeping the legs moving. So my mom actually got us this year for a Christmas present. These really super cool, I should have brought the little card. Can't remember what the name of the company is. But obviously if you made a donation to this conservation organization, you were assigned a turtle that has been tagged. And you go to their app, and you can follow your turtle, how many miles it's gone in a certain duration, when was the last time they heard from the turtle. The turtle's like, hey, guys, what's up? <laughs> so it was really cool to see where all of the, everybody's turtles were in their recovery. Because some of these turtles, I think all of them actually, were rescued at some point because they were injured. Interestingly enough, she gave us, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different turtles, and they were all female, which was I thought was really interesting. Are the females being injured more frequently? Or it would be interesting to know why. So I'll share at the end the name of this company. It's kind of cool. Plus, they gave you a uh, really cool bracelet as your, you know, gift for your donation. So that was kind of fun. All right, so we're coming up on our next effort. We're going to go right into it. There's going to be no recovery from this one to the next. What it's going to be is five 10 second sprints. I'm going to have you be not, you don't have to go there yet, in your big ring and around your 15, between your 15 and your 13. Your 15 and your 13. You get to decide which gear you want. So go ahead and find your big ring. Get up there. Find that gear. These are seated. Three in your drops. Two, one, 10 seconds. Let's go. Push it out. Hard as you can go. Three, two, one. Nice, easy gear. Back down to your small ring. Allow yourself to recover. You don't need to be in a hard gear. Just get in a nice, easy gear. Even if you're spinning at 70, doesn't matter. If it feels good to spin higher, I love that. As your recovery. So you have four more of these. What I want you to try to do, each one of these, try to start with a different foot. So if you pushed first with your right, Next one. All right, get back up into that big ring. Here we go, down into drops, three, two, let's go. Come on, keep it going. Don't let it drop. Easy. Recover. If you need a drink in between, go ahead and take it. If the legs are burning, that's fine. 
That's what we want. We want to kind of shake out all that junk, especially if you were crossing a path to that cookie table. Going to shake some of that junk out. Two down, three to go. Find that gear, down the drops, go. Hold on to it and stop. Whoo, three down. Just two more to go. So my nephew and I drove down to my mom's, who's outside of Pennsylvania, outside of Philadelphia. And uh, we left at maybe 1130 on Friday. The temperature in Ramsey was 56 degrees when I left. And it was raining. Find your gear. Down in your drops. Go. Number four. It's just 10 seconds. Three, two, easy gear. One more to do. So we drove for about not even an hour, and we hit some sleet. At this point, the temperature's maybe 38. It only lasted for a short while. We get over the Pennsylvania border, and it starts snowing. And now the temperature's about 28. And everything is turning into a white wonderland. Find your gear. Down into drops. Last one. Let's go. Three, two, one. Nice and easy. Just stay in the gear that you've been in. Finish out the minute. Now here's the difference. We're gonna go right into a five minute high cadence again. No extra break this time. So go ahead, find that gear. It's gonna hold you at a hundred. Three, two, one. Now you're holding a hundred for five minutes. Now take a drink during this. It's not a normal recovery. So therefore, you're not apt to pick that water bottle up and drink it. But I want you to get there. Make sure you have that bottle consumed by the end. So the snow started, and it did. It looked pretty cool. All the cars coming towards us had like encrusted ice on the fronts of their cars. But interestingly enough, I think everybody was so prepared for the drop in temperatures. The roads were okay. But by the time we got to my mom's front door, the temperature was 25 degrees. So in just a two hour time frame, it went from 56 to 25. And that's driving about, uh, I don't remember the exact distance. So let's say 110 miles. Crazy. 
So, of course, we got there and we stayed in. <laughs> we didn't go anywhere. Hold that cadence. If you feel like you need another drink, then go ahead and take it. Now, you remember that crazy. No, we're not going to go there yet. We're going to do another five by this time, not 10 second sprints, but 15. And these are going to be out of the saddle. So the out of the saddle ones will feel a little bit better. We'll put you in a gear that gives you enough resistance. So you should be holding at least 100 right now. And again, it doesn't have to be a super hard gear to hold this 100. Just enough to get the legs working. We're almost three minutes in. We're gonna go a total of five. <clears throat> and then, no break again. We're gonna go right into five by 15 seconds standing efforts. So you don't need to be in your drops for these. You can do these in your hoods. But if you really wanna go for them and feel like you're sprinting to the line, you're more than welcome to be in your drops. And that's what I want them to feel like. Race winning efforts. One of my racing athletes, that might be an effort that I might give to them, a workout where they go and they do race winning efforts. Jim may remember some of those when he was racing. You have to simulate in your workouts what you're going to do in a race if you are racing. And those short, hard efforts like that, believe it or not, actually come on pretty quickly if you've developed a good base. over the winter. So when it gets time to do these five efforts, you're gonna obviously be in your big ring. You don't have to go there yet. I'm gonna give you a range again. You can be anywhere from your 12 to your 14. So if you're in your 12, that'll be the smallest hog in the back. The next one might be the 13. And the next one up might be the 14. So go ahead and find your big ring. Find that gear. Get yourself in your hoods. And you're gonna go 15 seconds out of the saddle. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, make it a sprint. I'll give you five. Five down. 10 down. 15, sit back down, find an easy gear. You can shift to your easiest gear, small ring if you wish, take a drink. Remember, this is your recovery time. So allow yourself to recover. And again, just like the last ones, if you can push and start with a different foot, that works. Find your gear. Three, two, let's go. Five down. Ten down. Fifteen down. Easy gear. 
These might really make the legs burn. And again, take a drink if you need it. Two are down, three more to go. Maybe mix it up, do a few in the hoods, find that gear, some of the drops, three, two, let's go. Out of the saddle, five down, 10 down, Sitting down. Woo. Three done. Now I know you might be saying, how's this supposed to make my legs feel fresh? It's bringing them back to life from not doing much. All right, find your gear. Number four, three, two, let's go. Five down. 10. 15, nice and easy. Find that easy gear. One more to go. And you get to spin it out. Woo. Sweating on this one. Sweating out all that salt. All right, last one. Let's go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Five down. Ten down. Last time. Find it easy. Spin it through for 45. Take a drink. If you stayed in your big ring, in five, you're gonna go back down to your small ring. Find that small ring, find that gear, settle right back into a hundred. Moving you along fast here tonight. And if you're right at the bottom of 100, like 99, that's fine. Remember though that too easy of a gear sometimes might not be the best gear to get you where you wanna go in a cadence. You might need just a little bit of resistance under you. So we wake up on Saturday morning and I'm in the main level. My mom's on the main level. My nephew's on the main level. My sister and my uncle are upstairs. And I can hear my nephew Marlon and my mom talking in the other room. And then I hear them go upstairs, come back down, go in the kitchen, they're still talking. And it sounded like something wasn't quite right. So 
So I wake up. When I got out, I was like, hmm, feels a, feels a little cold in here. Maybe it's just me. I walk out. Of course, my mother has on three coats, a hat, uh, gloves, all these things. She looks at me and she goes, we don't have any heat. <laughs> and what was it? Like 10 degrees outside? So immediately she gets on the phone, calls a place, of course, had to be on hold for like 30 minutes. Finally gets to someone and they said, well, We'll have to call you back in two hours. See if we can find somebody. Well, the funny part about this is this company, and I won't throw them under the bus, had just sent out an email to all of their customers three days prior that said, no fault uh, policy, we're available 24-7 seven days a week even on the holidays if you're having a problem let us know we'll be there to help you <laughs> well two hours goes by no call two and a half hours goes by still no call so she calls again and again gets on the phone, waits a half an hour, finally someone picks up and they said, well, we're not going to be able to get anybody out there until Monday. <laughs> she says, well, uh, I'm 83 years old and I need to have my heat. And the woman says, well, we've got a lot of people, a lot of older people calling like you. But unfortunately, we don't have any technicians to get there. So it'll have to be on Monday. So my uncle and I decided we're going to go up there and take a look at it. So it's actually on the second floor, her heater. It's gas. Attached to it is a dehumidifier. Underneath the heater, there's an overflow pan. And there seemed to be some water in that overflow pan where there was a sensor that was red. So I said to him, I'm like, let's just mop up this water, dry off that sensor, and see what happens. So we did that. He kind of heated up the sensor. Lo and behold, it clicked right back on. So we fixed it temporarily, but at least we had heat until Monday. So that was an easy fix. All right, we're coming up to our last effort. This last effort is going to look just like that first one. Standing, seated, hard seated, easy. But this time, instead of five seconds, you're going to do 10 seconds. So it'll be 10 seconds standing, 10 seconds easy, 10 seconds seated hard, 10 seconds easy for five minutes, and then we are done. So I want you to get in your big ring again, down to about your 15, because this one's going to be standing. If you want to go to your 14, you can go there. So, 10 seconds standing to start. Three, two, one, let's go. Push yourself a little bit on the standing and the seated effort. Sitting down, staying in this gear. Nice and easy. Like you can recover. Tw 10 seconds hard, let's go. Staying seated, nice and easy. I'm gonna go back up to standing after 10 seconds. 
three, two, standing. Hold on to it. Seated. Use those seated ones. Just spin nice and easy. Seated, ready, go. 10 seconds, push it through it. Easy. This one will go a lot faster since we're doing 10 instead of five. And up. And seated. Hold on to it. Hard. If you want to go on your drops, go for it. Easy. Almost to two minutes. Up. Be light on your feet. Seated. In your drops, go. Easy. Getting ready to stand. Up. Seated. On to three minutes. Two to go. Going seated. Easy. Ready and up. Seated. Woo, legs are feeling it now. Seated hard. Go. Easy. Four minutes down. One minute to go. In your hoods. Up. Seated. Next one is seated. Find it and go. Easy. I'm gonna have one more to do. Seated. Stay in that gear. Three, two. Easy gear. Small ring. Woo. Take a drink. Spin it out. Wow. That was a work one. If you have half a bottle, consume it. We're going to do a nice, good cool down.
So let yourself recover right now from that last effort. So you don't have to have your cadence super high. Between 80 and 90 is fine. Just enough to recover a bit. And then we're going to do just a fast leg effort to bring down the workout. We want to finish fast. So fortunately, with the heater situation, the guy did come on Monday, and there was a problem with the humidifier or dehumidifier. There was a part that needed to be replaced, and he felt that the pipe, which was a drain, may have been clogged, which is what was causing that overflow to get into the pan. <laughs> so the funny part about the whole thing was he kind of tried to blow it out, but he needed to do something else, and he didn't have the tools at the time. And so in their kitchen, it always took the kitchen water, hot water, forever to get hot. My sister texted me yesterday and she said, I think Anthony fixed the hot water in the kitchen. And I said, what do you mean? She said, now it goes hot, like right away. So by him just blowing out a little bit of whatever he blew out, it started to help the water tank to flow. I don't know. So. We'll see what happens when he actually comes back and fixes it for real. All right, we're going to go 30 more seconds this way. And then we're going to do a couple of minutes of just getting our legs feeling fast again, feeling light. For that exercise, I want you to really think about making your feet Feel very light on the pedals. No pressure on your pedals. Go ahead and shift down two gears. Make your feet feel super light. Let your legs spin at whatever cadence you can hold. Make sure that it's at least over 85. Feel the lightness in your legs. And we're just going to get lighter and lighter as we kind of move through the gears for these last couple of minutes. Then the next good thing that happened was my mom actually has a, a home warranty for all of our appliances and stuff. And she called that company told them about the dehumidifier, and it's going to be covered under her warranty. All right, hit one easier gear. Stay light. Whatever cadence allows your legs to spin without feeling any effort. So this is all about just getting the legs to finish fast, but don't do any work in the process. Plus, it's going to teach you how to lighten up your feet. And by lightening up your feet, you save your legs. If you're always pushing into the pedals, you're firing all those muscles every time you push into the pedal. If you let your legs spin, at a nice, easy tempo. You'll get proficient at spinning at that tempo and staying at the gear that you want to be and the speed that you want to be. One more shift, if you have it. Last minute, keeping the legs fresh. Now you should feel as if, the, the almost like you're on a spin bike, like the, 20, 40 pound flywheel is pulling your legs around. It's a recovery.
So I don't know what kind of plans you guys have for uh, New Year's Eve. I don't think anybody in this group is going to New York City. I think they're going to get rained out, unfortunately. But it will be nice and warm. All right. That is it for the night. Good workout, guys. See what your legs feel like. That is your Happy New Year workout. Woo. Oh, and I have my Happy New Year hat, see? Happy New Year. <laughs> We can do our countdown to the new year. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! It's here, 2023.